Beyond's web developer. So today I'll be talking about how do you debug progressive web app using Lighthouse. So today our outline, our outline is we're talking about what is a progressive web application. And then we'll talk about the Lighthouse that Google designed to audit our websites to check our web performance. And then we'll talk about how do we run a Lighthouse how do you run Lighthouse on web pages? You can either do it by using Chrome DevTools or we can use it by the Node.js using command lines. And then I will cover a bit about what Chrome DevTools are. I'll talk about how do we share and view Lighthouse reports. And I'll, I'll talk about how do we do continuous integration and continuous delivery of Lighthouse for our web pages. And then I will continue to talk about how do we link the, link the Lighthouse reports to our websites using a web UI. And finally, I'll show a simple Lighthouse report. How do we do a simple Lighthouse report using a mock PWA app using the audits? Yeah, so what exactly is P, uh, Progressive Web Application? So Progressive Web Application is a tool designed by Google. It's a web application that you can build using CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. And it works on any web browser, and it uses, it complies with the standards by the, web, by the W3C, the World Wide Web Consortium. Yeah, so what are the features of progressive web application? Firstly, it's progressive. You can use it for any, ver any browser, any version, because it improves it. The, the architecture of, of a PWA uh, fits those systems. It's progressive, which means that if you're using, running a PWA, you can do it for any screen size. You can do it for a laptop. You can do it for a tablet. You can do it for a phone. It's faster after in initial loading. What does that mean? It means that. If you, are, if you need to load the initial resources and, and elements, after, after loading those resources, you don't need to download them again. You don't need to cache them again. The traditional way of how browsers work is they download the, the resources and they cache it. But for PWA, once the resources are loaded, they, are, they don't need to be re-rendered. Re it's connectivity independent. So what does that mean? It means that it can run on offline, offline pages. It can run on very low connection quality. It's safe. It's discoverable, and you can install it like an app. So how do we test our progressive web application? We can use Google's Lighthouse to test the performance of how our application is working. Yeah. So what is Google's Lighthouse? Google's Lighthouse is an open source automated tool for improving our quality of web pages. It has different uh, characteristics and features that we look into, and then we can determine how do we improve our website. It contains audits for performance, for progressive web applications for search engine optimization and other features. You can run using Chrome Dev 2 on the Google Chrome browser, and you can audit. So how does, it, how does the Lighthouse work? First, we audit a URL we are, we are testing, and then we will return the report on how well the page runs. And then the development team will then use the audits, the failing audits, to improve the overall page. Yeah. So how do we run Lighthouse as a Chrome to extension. So first, in the Google Chrome, we select the URL we wish to audit. And then we open the Chrome DevTools on the browser, and we click the Audit tab. And then from the Audit tab, we will perform the audits. And then based on what you're looking at, you would select the different audit categories, and you'll run the audit, and then you'll generate the report. Yeah. So how do we run Lighthouse using Node? First, we need to make sure that we have Google Chrome and Node.js on our machine. And then we install Lighthouse using the global tag, which is npm install-g Lighthouse. So we install it as a global module. After that, we run an audit by running Lighthouse and the URL. And then if you want to know more about other features of Lighthouse, we can type lighthouse-help. And it will show all, show all the features and functions we can run on the command line. So what are Chrome DevTools? Chrome DevTools are web developer tools that Google has built directly onto their Chrome browser for us to test features. So for us, if you want to test on test work on DOM, the document object model, or, or, or our styling sheets, we can right-click our element, and then we select inspect to access, the, to access the element panel for us to make to check how does it look, how does it render. And for, if you're using Mac machine, you just run, um, run press command control C. But for you, if you're using Windows, Linux, or Chrome OS, you run Control Shift C. And for, for us to check for log messages or JavaScript on the Chrome De on the for Chrome DevTools, we can use Command Option J for Mac or Control Shift J for Windows, Linux, or Chrome OS to access the console panel. 
to do debugging. Yeah. So what's the application of Chrome DevTools? Why do we use them? First, we can, we can view and change the DOM, and we can do the necessary changes. We can test how does a web page load. And then we can also view and change a, web, a page style using CSS. So Casey Best wrote very good articles about, how, about these two topics or how we can perform this test using the Chrome Dev tool. And we can use Chrome Dev to also debug JavaScript. We can view messages and also run JavaScript in the console. We can optimize the website speed. We can change our code so that our website loads faster. And we can also inspect the network activity of the website. So how do we share and view reports using JSON? So in Lighthouse, there's this thing called a viewer where we can share and view reports online. And we can, and the Lighthouse reports are all in JSON format. So how do we collect the JSON output that we need? First, we go to Chrome Dev Tools and then we download the report. And from the command line, we will run Lighthouse dash s output. You run that command to, to get the, to set the output of path to, sorry, we'll, we'll run the command to set the uh, Lighthouse. On, on Lighthouse, we'll set the output to JSON and we'll set the output path. After, after setting the path, we would go back to the viewer and we'll export the file and we save it as a JSON format. So how do we view the report data? First, we go to the Lighthouse viewer on Google Chrome and then we would attach the JSON file onto the viewer or we can click on the viewer to insert the JSON file. So we can also share and view reports using GitHub GIS. So we can, we can share them using secret GitHub GIS. So how do we do that? First, we need to export the report using a GIS. So we export and we open the GIS in the viewer. And from there, in the viewer, we click share. And if you are doing it for the first time, you have to give permission to access the GIS data. So your, your GIS will be created using the Lighthouse Reports JSON output. And the report, the GIS found it has to end in lighthouse.report.json. So how do we view a report safe in GIS? First, we add the GIS, GIS equal ID to the viewer's URL, to the viewer's URL, web URL, where ID is the ID of the GIS. And then after that, what do we do? We, we will open the viewer and then we will paste the URL of the GIS into it. So, CI, so I'll now, now I'll talk about uh, what is continuous integration in web development. So continuous integration means that we are able to continuously integrate our code into simple, shared, and easy to access code repository. So it means that it will, it will continuously integrate whatever code changes we are making on our code, code base. So what are the advantages of using continuous integration in web development? We are able to decrease the time we review our code. We will able, we'll be able to not ship broken code or code that's not working. And we'll be able to maintain the code easily and produce uh, updates. So how do we do CI in Lighthouse? We can, do, um, we can use, uh, so Triosh is a contributor and he has this GitHub code repository on Lighthouse CI action where it automatically runs uh, Light, Lighthouse on every pull request with GitHub action. So you just uh, clone the code repository, clone the code from the code repository, and then you will run the um, project with your GitHub account. And, and, and then you will automatically check for your Lighthouse when you update your web pages or your code. And then we can also integrate the CI for Lighthouse using static site generators like JetQ, Gatsby, or Hugo. And then, uh, there's also this uh, code repository by HCharm on GitHub about how we can use Lighthouse. So it's a beginner's tutorial and it uses React. So they do Lighthouse rendering and checking our web pages for a React web template. Yeah. Now I'll talk about what is continuous delivery in our web development. So what is continuous development? Continuous development is the development delivery feedback and quality management that runs in parallel at short intervals in a continuous loop, which means that you are doing Development work, development work you're, you're staging a your code into the, into the production server and you're also receiving feedback from the code. So they're all running together at the same time. So what are the advantages of using continuous delivery in web development? We are able to troubleshoot problems that we may face in the website. We are able to uh, perform quicker and more frequent releases according to our feedback loop and we can accelerate the feedback loop and improvement so we can improve our code base faster because we know what is the problem of the code. We can debug faster. We know what are the errors. And also, 
it will reduce our cost on testing. Yep, so now I'll talk about how do we link our report to a website using web UI to monitor progress, to monitor the web performance. So Google has this thing called the PHP Insights. So we had to run PHP Insights. First, we go to the PHP Insights page on Google, and then we select our web page URL that we want to, 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 um, to run the page on, to run the, the Lighthouse on, and then we click Analyze, and then we are able to link the report back to the website. But before that, we definitely need the report. So before that, we need to run the audit for the report. So now I will show you uh, a demo of how a PWA works. So before that, um, the PWA, a, a progressive web app has to contain a web manifest, a service worker, and an app icon of seven different sizes to fit different screens. Yep. So now I go to my code base. Okay, so this is a very simple boilerplate progressive web app. So first, there's the index for the HTML. There is the, the um, it, so there's, there's the iOS um, screens, so Apple, and also there's also the icons, the faith icons, and then there needs to be a manifest.json. So, so the manifest.json has to contain your, the name of your app, the language where your website is running in, your faith icons for the different sizes, screen sizes, for, to support different screens, and of course, you need also the background color and the theme color because it will be something that the Chrome, Chrome Lighthouse will check. So the other important thing is you need your service worker, JavaScript file to run your, to, ca to do caching for your pages. And then, so what do you do? You, first, you, you name the cache, and then you run different pages from the, to, to, for your files to cache. And then after that, what do you do is you start the service worker and you cache all the app's content. And then before, after that, you serve the cache content. Okay. So now I will run this app on a web server. So there's this thing called live server extension of Visual Studio Code. I'm going to run it. Sorry. Yeah, so I'm running. So now it's loading. Okay, but because Lighthouse doesn't run on Firefox, so I'll put it on Chrome. Okay, so that's, a, that's how it runs. That's how it renders. So I'll go to Lighthouse. I'll search for developer tools. Okay, then I'll go to Audits. And then I run the audits. And then the Lighthouse report will generate. So based on the report, it will show you how, how fast a reliable website is. It will show you about what installable items. It, it will talk to, it will give you um, your feedback on what's your optimization. So do you optimize your PWA? Do you redirect your HTTP website? And then there's this thing that I was talking about, the background color, which is the set a team color to address bar. Yeah, so you will check for all these conditions and then you would export the report to your website. Yep. So that's all. Thank you.